What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Andre King, coming at you today with a topic that intrigues many and intimidates others. If you've ever had problems creating your YouTube banner, updating it, or just became frustrated and decided to give up, then this is the video for you. In today's video, we're actually going to be using Canva, an online tool that so, so many creators in YouTube use for its versatility and the number of tools that are available there. It's going to take the guesswork out of what dimensions you need to set, and I'll tell you what you can go ahead and forget. So by the end of this video, I hope that you come away feeling better about the next time you need to update your YouTube banner. So if you're ready, let's get right to so it. Once we're inside of Canva, we just simply want to go ahead and start typing YouTube. And we're searching for channel art, which it will auto complete. This will take you to a few preloaded templates in case you have any ideas or you just want to use one for another project to change. But here we just need the dimensions that it sets. So we'll go ahead and click create blank channel art. But before we do that, let's go ahead and head on over to the channel customization and talk about a few things. This is where, of course, you would change your banner image on your channel profile picked as well as your video watermarks but for the purpose of this one this of course is trying to basically also point to the fact that across various types of devices the banner is actually going to display differently on a tv a lap or desktop and of course a tablet or cell phone so if we go to our home page here this is what our current banner looks like on a desktop but it doesn't look the same as you could see on a phone. So now that we're back in our blank canvas template, the very first thing we're going to do is click on elements and drag in a square. And the first thing we're gonna do is resize it vertically to 423 pixels. Let's go ahead and zoom in so that we can get more precise. And then we also need to scale it out horizontally to 1546 pixels we may have that same problem trying to dial it in so 1546 wow zoom in a little bit more All right, the very next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and center this vertically and horizontal and use the pink lines as our guide and then click away from that. Hit file, show rulers, and if it's not already selected, which it is in our case, then you can go ahead and do that here or use Shift R on a Windows PC as a shortcut. And what this is gonna do is allow us when we bring in these lines to visually be able to see if they're straight, similar to how engineers use Microsoft Visio or other type of applications that do the same thing. But programs such as Canva are very good at providing the auto ability to ensure that things are lined up, as you see with so many of these guys here. So, but just want to show you an option in case you're used to using something similar and if you kind of got a eagle's eye or as wise as an owl then you see where we're going with this we've now set up our template to be able to visually display what's going to fit inside and show on a mobile device or a tablet and of course the other devices such as desktops laptops and tvs are going to go from end to end now that we have that we can go ahead and get rid of that box and so we're going to use this current banner as a guide. We're not going to make it exactly the same, but we'll use a lot of the elements to kind of show the thought that went behind it. So we'll start by coming back to our Canva template and bringing in a image, a different one than what we have displayed there. So we'll go ahead and drop in an image. This of course is pro. So we have available to us this effects area that has a background remover tool 
takes just a few seconds. And of course, it'll do what we intended it to do, which is remove the background, resize that one. And we just need to ensure here for today that the hat comes barely above the line there. We'll explain why in a second. If you don't have the pro version or a, a application that can remove the background for you for free, then remove.bg is an excellent choice. A website where you simply drop an image in the same one we just did and it's a little bit quicker and then it allows you the options to download and of course you can bring it into the application as we just did the text is up next we'll use three different lines there as well but different text so we shall start with this subheading keep the background black or the text i should say caps lock we'll type in keep creating Let's use a size of 50 and let's, let's try to eyeball that. Let's change our background to yellow so that when we start using these elements that are white, we can see them as well. Back to our text. Some of these options are free, such as this glow, and we won't be using that effect there. So we will change this to, let's say 80. And for this one, we are going to use that hollow effect to get what we just saw there. Create with. Again, the background here, we can highlight this. Let's use red. We'll try to line that one up, zoom in a bit to try to get a better visual. Now we can copy that again. This time, we don't need any effects such as that. So we will simply click on effect one more time, select none and change the color. Well, it's already red because of the uh, outline and the element we copied it from. Bring this on over. And if you wanna be more precise, then just bring a line down trick I use from my Visio days. And then of course, each of those elements just simply needs to touch the line. To ensure that they're all properly aligned. So there we go. So now we can, uh, let's get back in there with fit and our third line we get rid of that one is going to be this heading here and we'll just put Andre King again don't forget about the accent mark <laughs> over the E all right so there goes our text elements for this part of the page Next up, we got these triangles. And again, no need to get too cute with these or try to find somewhere, scour the internet to bring in an element exactly like that. Really, this is where we just put our thinking caps on and uh, think about the tools that we got here and how can we make them fit. So as you can see, there's basically two background colors, white and blue. And so the triangles here, the larger one is the opposite of the background. So we're simply gonna bring in two triangles and make the larger one the opposite of the background. So white on this side and of course blue on that side and then group them together so that it's easier to copy and paste. So now back to elements, bring in a triangle. Again, for the current design, we're gonna use red. So we will copy one more, make this one white make that size a, a little bit smaller and we'll use this pink line to there you go to see vertical or horizontal I should say and uh, that looks good good to me so we'll copy both of those and we'll change the colors on this side to make the inside red and we'll eyeball the outside and make that white. Oh, 
move that line accidentally. Highlight these, right click, and you can group it that way. You saw the shortcut was also Control G. And also the third way is to select group up there. So now we will just basically sprinkle these in up top, knowing that the background is red on this side. We'll just put that one dead center. Start rotating and resizing these. Again, not the purpose today isn't to be perfect. It's just to get our thinking caps on and uh, of course explore different ways to create our banners here within Canva. One natural tool that I like to use is of course imitation, not for the purpose of use, but for the purpose again of practice, similar to how many athletes copy uh, moves from other players and things like that. Although they do games <laughs> here, it's just um, if you do something like, for instance, for banners, you want to get better at it and uh, you're not the most creative or imaginative or you just psych yourself out sometimes then maybe to get a little bit more um, practice as well as to perhaps build your confidence there uh, just look at one you like and try to build that one again not for the purpose of trying to make it on your page but just to be able to kind of look at something and then be able to say this style was used that's probably on top they, they may have brought this or that element in. And you can do that with videos, audio, thumbnails, different things. Um, and the better you get at that and the more um, tools you get underneath your belt, so to speak, then the easier things will come and the quicker your workflow will also become. So now we're going to, on this side, we're going to leave the triangles off of the mobile device. And we won't put as many. Again, today we're just trying to get get comfortable with concepts that can be applied across different areas in content creation. All right, so we'll just leave these five there. We'll let that one hang. And our last element to bring in is this circle. And essentially that's what it is, a circle. <laughs> like we said, not to get too cute. But we know we have our grid lines that are going to show us what is going to show on those devices. So anything that's outside of that won't show. So for this circle here, of course, make it red, resize it just a wee bit. And we will leave this one. We need this to fully display on a mobile device. So eh, we'll come up again with the, the line. And that's about it text we'll just copy this one make it a little bit easier change that color to white drop that down to maybe 35 this will say new videos every Friday or new day of posting let's go ahead and while we have that selected let's decrease the space vertically between these words. Let's highlight them both. And let's also increase it horizontally. All right. Click away and then click back. And now let's go ahead and start moving that up and into position. And to be quite honest, that's our last element. Let's go ahead and just make that bold. Stand out just a little bit. I think we're looking good. And the last thing to do is to change the background to white. There, so we can have it on the right side. And how do you think we get that red there? No magic. We just, of course, drop in another square that's already red. And the reason we wanted that hat to go off a little is to then, kind of similar to masking, is to just go ahead and put that there, take its position all the way to the back and let everything else show through it. We don't need these lines any longer. And uh, guys and gals, we just made a banner in under 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and download this. It's a PNG. Download 
definitely a good job doing that. Let's select change our banner. And here we go. The very first time, a lot of times it won't display exactly like these triangles over here actually will show through as you can see there. So once we publish this, if we now come back to the home page and refresh, here we have our brand new banner. And of course on our mobile device, as intended, we don't see the triangles on the right side. So again, great job at hanging in there today. And as you can see, it actually wasn't that bad. Once you get your parameters set up, establish your canvas with your template, then really the rest is just up to your imagination. Thank you all so, so much for rocking with me today. I really do appreciate it. And I hope that you found this video beneficial and go ahead and feel free to drop a comment down below. And if you'd like to check out Canva's Pro subscription, then check out the referral link in the description down below. So again, whether you create a little or you create a lot, just keep creating.